Howdy, everyone. This is one of my Halloween specials for 2020. My favorite scary movies and TV shows. Oh, man. Ah, ah. Well, I didn't know for this special episode if I was going to be a rootin' tootin' cowboy or a mighty pirate. Arr. Arr, Guybrush Threepwood. You guys decide. I'll leave that to you. Uh, maybe I'm a mix of both. I'm a mighty pirate cowboy. Um, but there is has been some great, great scary movies uh, that I've watched and some great TV shows. And, you know, since you guys have been asking, I've been really thinking about this. There's too many to list. And every year I have a list that I make in the beginning of October that I, well, actually at the end of September, that I make for the month of October. And I make sure that throughout the month I watch these movies and sometimes I tweet them what I'm watching tonight. I do movie night. And I also do this through November and December for Christmas movies because I'm going to have another one of these for that because there's tons of them that I watch. And this is the months that I love watching specials. And I also watch whatever's on TV as well. There's some great stuff on TV that they put on and, and on the streaming services, Netflix and Prime, Hulu and all that, YouTube. But here's some of the classics that I like, some of the newer stuff, both movies and TV shows for Halloween. So I, my favorite of all time is The Exorcist. Let her die. That movie just creeps the shit out of me. I just love that movie. It's very scary. It's I, I'm sorry, but I'm always going to say this. It's still one of the scariest movies to this day, I think. Um, it's very scary. It's very spooktacular. And it just sticks with you. And if you've never seen The Exorcist, the original, the first one, the one that makes sense, Linda Blair, Ellen Burstein, Jason Miller, it's just an amazing movie. I would have to say Salem's Lot. I mean, it's a long one. It's a good one. It's on my list, and I haven't watched it yet, and I might be watching that tonight. I mean, it's a long one. It's like over three hours because it's was originally it was originally broken up with intermissions as like a mini series. Then they released Stephen King released it as like a movie all in one from the book. Um it's it's creepy and it's scary. It's creepy and it's scary. It's one of the scariest. Um I'm just gonna tell you that right now. It's just phenomenal. Let's just roll on with the Stephen King. Um, the Shining. Um, you know, I can't watch that movie without having nightmares the night, you know, after I watch it. The images stick with you. It's just, you can watch that movie hundreds of times and you're still just as scared. And really, you know, that's that's the makings of a great horror film. Pet Cemetery. Same thing, the original Pet Cemetery. I did like um, the newer one, the recent one, the, re the remake. I really liked how they changed it a bit, and I thought it was true to form, but also at the same time modernized, but good. They didn't fuck it up. So if you ever want to check out the new Pet Cemetery, I give it the thumbs up. I liked it a lot. I liked what they did with it. Um... Some 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 surprise changes there that I think didn't really stray away too bad. C Carrie, I was a big fan of that. The Sissy Spacek one, the original. That's a classic. Um, anything with Rosie O'Donnell in it, very scary. Anything with Alyssa Milano, very scary. S uh, some... Some scary shows, The Walking Dead, a must. Um, the Hauntings of Hill House, 
on Netflix and now from the same director and cast, um, The Hauntings of Bly Manor. What a phenomenal show. What phenomenal acting, phenomenal actors and actresses, phenomenal script, um, phenomenal production, scary, uh, phen- just gr- a great show, in my opinion, a great show. Um, there was a show also on Netflix, I think it was called Mary, I've talked about this, about a witch, fucking scary, I mean, fucking scary. Look that one up. Scary. Scary fucking show. There was another show, movie that I watched recently on Netflix called The Witch. There's no there's all, no English in it. It's all subtitles. But it doesn't matter. It, it draws you in. It's very scary. Very scary. Um, very scary movie. Uh... Halloween, Michael Myers, even the newest one um, with the return of uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. I thought that movie was fantastic. I thought it was great. I thought they did a really great job. Um, Wow. Cujo always scared the crap out of me. You know, I have a fear of, well, let me, let me explain. I'm obsessed with animals and I love animals and I'm obsessed with dogs. I love dogs, but now the crazy thing of it is, is that I have zero fear of wild animals. Okay. I catch animals. Um, when I was in Florida, I would jump in lakes this is real story, and I would catch alligators. I don't. I don't care. A shark, whatever. Poisonous snakes. I catch all the time. I'm known around in this town to go out and grab giant, giant snapping turtles. Wild dogs, wild wolves, coyotes. I catch them. Foxes. I have no fear. What I have a serious f- fear of is domestic dogs that I don't know, that are mean or barking like I won't walk down the road in fear that a neighbor's dog will run up to me I want no fucking part of it unless I know the dog I'll be your best friend you know my cousin's got two pit bulls you know I love him to death my aunt had a German shepherd but if I go to your house and you have a fucking dog barking at the door like I never used to like to go trick or treating for that reason if it's a domestic dog and it's Barking and mean and growling. I'm gonna tell you a story. I was I was fucking quadding one time with my cousin down in Florida, down down these trails, and we went up to this fence, and this fucking Doberman came out. And I used to raise, I used to have Dobermans, and this Doberman came out and was fucking barking and shit. And I jumped back on the quad and I fucking took off so fast. All you saw was dust. I want nothing to do with a dog that I don't know. So Cujo to me was fucking terrifying. Like my biggest fear would be running up to a dog that was fucking foaming from the mouth. You know what I mean by that? And and St. Bernard's are fucking huge. Like Beethoven used to fucking scare me. So that that shit scared me, you know? So Cujo to me was terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. But yeah, like a Wolverine, I would go right up to it. Um, oh man, I'm trying to think of other scary shells. Poltergeist was always a classic favorite of mine. You know what movie I really loved? I was going to say Amityville Horror. I like that. But one of my favorite movies of all time was, um, there was an old 80s, it's like a fucking, I don't know, I guess you could call it a B movie. Um, you, you would laugh at it today because it's so production, so so you know, terrible, but in the, when I was a kid, it was scary, was a movie called The Gate, where they had, like, these little ghouls that came out, that shit scared the fuck out of me when I was young, um, another movie that's a classic movie that I loved, that's an older movie, is Rosemary's Baby, with Mia Farrow, 
That movie, for some reason, always scared the fuck out of me. A very scary movie. You know, very devilish. Um. Hmm. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of. Psycho, like um, Norman Bates, the original Psycho. Um, Psycho 2, Psycho 3, I liked a lot. Um, the Jason movies, Friday the 13th. I'm not really a Saw guy. Like, I don't fucking, I'm not into the fucking Saw movies. They're, they don't, I'll watch them. I've watched them. To know about them, but I'm not really like fucking into them. I don't know if you want to call this a horror movie. I guess you could, but Predator is one of my all time fa- one of my all time favorite movies. Um, Predator is just fucking badass, but that's fucking a crazy, scary movie. Um, Alien, the first Alien, that's a classic. And then like you know, as far as favorite Halloween movies, not scary, a comedy actually it would be like Beetlejuice. I was a big fan of Be- and the two Ghostbusters movies. But um, scary stuff, I mean, it doesn't top The Exorcist or, like, Salem's Lot. You can't, like, to me, Salem's Lot, The Exorcist, and, like, The Shining, you don't get scarier than that. Like, that's, that's like, fucking classic, you know? Like, uh, oh, Jeepers Creepers is good. I like the Jeepers Creepers movies. I do like them. I mean, I'm not obsessed over them, but I do like them. Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, but like, oh, and like, new as far as newer movies, like um, newer, like the Ring movies. The first Ring is one of my favorite. I, I I love that movie. I watch that movie every year. That's another one that I watch. I absolutely love that movie. Um. See, my mind is blank. I'm not, I don't have anything in front of me, but there's probably tons of newer movies also that I like. But The Ring, um, The Ring is definitely a creep. Oh, I just watched one recently on Netflix, In the Tall Grass or something. Fucking creepy. Weird. Like a mind fucking twister, but not bad. Um,. I like anything with with hauntings. Anything that's like, you know, a house is haunted, like shit like that. Anything with fucking demons. Um anything with like possession. Like there's a lot of other extras. Oh, the con how can I forget this? The con- I like the conjuring. The conjuring two. I like like Annabelle. I like um Insidious, like those fucking movies. I like shit like that. Um, The Nun. I like that. I like a lot of fucking spook. What about you guys? What what kind of movies do you guys like? Um, You know, there's so many. And so many shows. They try to be creepy. You know, some can do it, some can't. Some trying to li- live up to the classics. Some, some, some do. Some don't. Um, I guess it depends. You know, it depends on uh, how they pull it off. Some, sometimes they try to do remakes. Sometimes they fail miserably, but sometimes they don't. Like I said, I thought, I thought Pet Cemetery, the new one, was good. I thought the new Halloween, the newest one, was really good. Um, the new Carrie was okay. Um. You know, but I don't think, like, if they tried to redo The Exorcist, like, even, like, The Exorcist 2 and, like, 3, and, like, they, see, what happens is, is that even, like, they had, like, a Pet Cemetery 2, you can't beat the classics, especially, like, having a follow-up, you know? Sometimes they can do it, but for the most part, they can't. It's hard to beat, you know, a masterpiece like that when they're, they come out of the gate swinging like that. Take care, guys. Chime in on the comments your favorite movies and shows. 
and let me know. Happy Halloween, guys. Take care and be safe. Catch you again soon. Howdy and hee-haw and arr.